Hello and welcome back to our series on basic accounting principles. So in our last episode we talked a little bit about the an important accounting report known as the profit and loss statement, which is kind of like a budget for a family or for yourself in that it covers income, expenses, and helps you understand how much you're earning over time. Today we want to look at something that's more of a snapshot. It's called the balance sheet. And a balance sheet is kind of like a net worth statement. It's going to help us understand right now what the worth of our business is, generally speaking. So to understand how much our business is worth to us today, we need to know how much worth there is in all of the things that our business owns. So we'll call those assets. Assets in their simplest terms is just our stuff. Anything that we own. Anything that the business owns is its assets. And they're li listed at their, at their current value. So we know how much our stuff is worth. But that's not really the worth, whole worth of the company. Because we know that in addition to the company owning things, typically speaking, the company also has debts that they have to pay back. We'll call those liabilities. So liabilities are just our debts. It's everything that we owe. And so now if we take everything that the company owns, we subtract out anything that the company owes back, and what's left over should be our net worth in the company. And in accounting terminology, our net worth for the company is known as equity. So if you've ever owned a home, this concept of equity should sound very familiar to you. Because whenever you buy a home, they use that terminology equity. What is equity? If you take the net value of your home, you subtract out your mortgage, that's equity. It's just your portion that belongs to you. And as you pay that mortgage down, your equity goes up. And that's all really equity is. So in a business sense, equity is your portion that you own in that business. Because in the end, a business is just like a piece of property. It's like a car or a house. And the equity just shows you what portion you own in that piece of property. And that's all the, the, the balance sheet really is. And it's pretty easy calculation. All you got to do is take your assets minus your liabilities and you get your equity. However, in the accounting world, we do a little change around in that, account, in that equation in order to be able to provide more analysis to the accountants and to the owners. So let's just do a little algebra here. And let's shift the liabilities over to the right side of the equation. Now, we get assets equals liabilities plus equity. So why do we turn the equation around like that? Well, up here in the first equation, the only thing it's really telling us is how much our net worth in the company is, our equity. Equity is already listed in the equation. We don't need to add it up. It's provided for us by the software. So there's no real value to that first equation. But down below, what it's doing now is it's telling us, okay, here's the total value of all of our assets. And then here, it explains how we got those assets. So did we get those assets by taking out a loan? Or did we pay for it with cash we already own? See how that works? So now we know the full value of all of our assets and we have an, a story or an explanation of where all of those assets came from and how we bought them. So just like with a home, when you first start out, you can't pay for a home in cash. Boom, here's $200,000. It doesn't work that way. Most people have to get out a mortgage for the majority of the value of their home and then they pay that mortgage down over time. So typically speaking, when you start out, your liabilities will be greater than your equity. That's pretty normal. With a small business, it's the same. 
Some small businesses can start out debt free. That's awesome. That's the way you want to go. But in order to get some of your equipment, buildings, you need financing. You need investment in your business in order to make it grow. And oftentimes you don't have the money off the top, you know, right right at the beginning. And so you have to get liabilities, you have to get debts to finance your company. And then the idea is over time those debts will go down and your equity will grow. So Typically speaking, when you start out, you have a lot of high liability. That's called being leveraged. Being leveraged is not a good place to be. I owe more on my house than I own right now, just like most other Americans. And it's a nervous place to be. If the economy tanks, it puts you at higher risk. Being leveraged is risky. So typically speaking, we don't want leverage, but sometimes it's necessary to grow and expand your business. So you can get a good snapshot at the health of your business just looking at the comparison between liabilities and equity. And that's why this equation becomes so important. And, and this equation, in fact, is called the accounting equation. And you'll see it pop up several times in some of our additional videos. It's an important concept to learn and understand. So if you don't take anything away from today's little meeting, then I hope you still understand this equation of assets equal liability plus equity. The cool thing is that's also an important concept of the accounting equation, or the, uh, the balance sheet. You'll see it's called a balance sheet because we want it to balance. If you were to stick this equation on a scale, and balance it against that equal sign, it will always balance perfectly. Assets always have to equal liabilities plus equity. If they don't, you have a major problem and you need to talk to your accountant. That's just the way it works and that's why it's called a balance sheet and now you understand what a balance sheet is, why it is, and what you can do with it to analyze your business. In our next video, we'll look at the equity section a little more closely and get an understanding for what it is and how it works because it's maybe one of the more confusing ends of a balance sheet. So stay tuned to that and uh, we'll be back with you soon.